Hey guys, it's Naz from DMCGaming.net and today I'm just going to do a small update on my H100. Uh, first of all, I um, just want to say that my one broke, uh, the motor went out completely and I just got this replaced, or well, this is my th second replacement now because the other one when I had looked at the radiator had a whole load of dings on it. This one had, had one major one inside it was about well it was there but I've sort of straightened it out with uh, two metal rulers pushing one side and the other side scraping it up also what I did I noticed the screws do go um, if I can try to focus it for you guys when you screw in the, the screws uh, if I can grab one for you now Gonna screw it in a bit, uh, but they are they go quite far through. I don't know if you can see, but they push onto the fins, and that's what squashes it. Uh, so what I did this time is uh, I got a, a small pin, and inside the holes I've uh, pushed the fins slightly out so they won't get bent. Uh, that's the update that I've not fitted it in yet, but I will do. The update is that I bought four of these Cougar. Uh, fans, they were meant to come all black, but I quite like these orange ones. Uh, some people told me to get the Scythe Gentle Typhoon. I found these apparently uh, the R4 pin, lowest runs at 800 RPM to 1500, and they apparently are quite quiet and push more N than the Scythe. I think the Scythe moved at 58 CFM. These move, uh, if I can find it. 70 CFM and the noise on the Gentle Typhoon are 28 and this is 17 dB so apparently these are more quieter and push more air those are the diagrams at the back just take a look at some of the pictures that have the airflow is anti-vibration unit uh, I'll show you one out of the box they look really cool they're that bright orange deep orange these are the rubber feet that are already on there uh, the back of it looks even more cool. <laughs> looks like it's going to bite you, but that helps the airflow. The cable is quite long as well, it's braided. It's a four pin, so it's more those ones that you stick on your motherboard. But it comes with four pin Molex connection, so you can attach four pins. And also, they come with four rubber uh, mounts, or you can use the four standard screws. Uh, that's my update. I bought four of these, and I will try it in my case with uh, the Corsair H100. Alright, before I put it in the system, I put the fans on. A bit stupid, I put them the wrong way. So they're like opposite each other, but then I fixed it now. So I'll show you how it looks at the moment. It looks like a beast, it looks really cool. That's the underneath, and uh, this is the top. I just like the back side of these fans, they look cool. They're that bright orange. So that is that, that's how thick it will be. So that's uh, two, four, six, yeah, about seven centimeters. I'm going to have it going, taking the hot air out, so plus I'll hopefully have the top kit case fans as well. Hopefully it all fits nice in there. But so far it looks really good. Uh, that's all the cables. So either I might be putting them all into the unit, see how it works with the performance. If it doesn't, I'll get uh, Y splitters. Uh, these are the next ones, I think, the NZXT ones. These are the normally the Y splitters that you get for the CPU. Uh, one of them has uh, with signal fan signal, so it sends it to the motherboard, and the other one is literally a three pin in there, but it's four pin holder, and that's a four pin. So you connect one in there, so it recognizes the speed of one fan, and the other fan as well. It increases the same speed and stuff, so it only shows one fan speed, so your motherboard doesn't get confused. So what I might do, if it's not any good with the actual uh, unit itself, I'll plug it into 
uh, two of them I'll plug it into the CPU. The case fan is also a four pin as well, so I'll buy another one of these and plug the other two to that set it. So it, the CPU goes hot, it runs the same as the CPU temperatures, so all four fans run at the same speed. Uh, hopefully uh, that should uh, uh, make it better cooling. So we'll see what happens. Just to show that, uh, just showing the previous video how to install this, but uh, when you remove the top cover of the half X, you can see there's a hole there, a hole there, one more there, and there's one more over here underneath the fan. What you can do is you can remove the fans completely and then you can install it. As you can see, mine. Uh, rad is underneath there. It fits in quite nicely. So it shows how much it comes down. Uh, normally, if you don't have the other push full fans underneath it, you'll only see these. So you can see right now, I'll put the light on, that it fits in there properly. I'm going to leave the top fans in there for now. Um, but that'll be a pull push configuration. I haven't put the CPU block in yet. Just let it hang. Took all the grass card out. I took the whole motherboard out because it's hard to get the back plate out because um, of the hole. Um, I had a bit of a problem because it wouldn't fit of the CPU um, power. Um, what I had to do there is get an extension and then plug it into the actual. Uh, all in all, so far, it's so good, it's fitting there nicely, and um, I think they look cool. So, that's how much they show. There you go, from the top of the case. So, I still have a bit of space, barely space to reach uh, the motherboard. Connector, so that's how much gap I got there. It's literally okay. This is the final part, it's fully all set up. Uh, this is the sound test of their uh, Cougar uh, Vortex fans. Um, they are running on low at the moment, and this is how they sound. The only thing that you can hear is the motor. The balanced. You go on the performance mode. It is absolutely really good. It's not that loud at all. It's really quiet. Um, I could run this all day and I wouldn't mind. It might sound a bit loud on the camera, but it is really quiet. Everything that's loud is just the motor, really. That's the Cooler Master Sickle Flow. But yeah. the loudest it goes, that's the lowest. Uh, so far so good. Uh, on the highest setting, the temperatures uh, 4.5 uh, GHz. Uh, surprisingly, 60 degrees Celsius. Uh, the, perform uh, the balanced I got uh, was probably what, 62, 63 at times, about 61, 62. And then the lowest profile, the highest it went was 65. So I'm quite happy with these fans and this pull push configuration. Um, 
nothing else to say but uh, and this is hope this is my final update and uh, I am quite happy with this cooler at the moment and uh, it's giving me quite decent temperature drops even at full speed it's still quiet with these fans and uh, that is all goodbye